Hi guys and uh, welcome to the, sh the live things. I said I would share about the um, pain. Um, really awesome all of you guys and all your comments and I was looking through it and I'm like yep, yep, wing it, that's also right, <laughs> that's also true. Um, so my perception of pain have always been Hi guys! Cool, we are already tapping in. <laughs> My perception of pain have always been different from most people I know. And as a child I, I couldn't understand when pain was painful enough for actually being actual pain. So I didn't know when I was supposed to be sad or when something hurt it enough for it to be serious. Um, <laughs> I slightly had a lot of trouble with that. <laughs> um, so, from my perspective, I try to understand what human hurt is, like what is human pain. When people are crying and get, um, oh, what do you call it? This, uh, this painkiller thingy? Is there no sound on it? You can't hear the sound? No sound? Guys, can you hear me or shall I try to turn it on and off? You can't hear me? There is sound. Okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, about the pain. I will, as a child, I always try to find out um, when something hurt it enough for it to be hurtful. And I, I couldn't understand it, so I got scared. I got scared because I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand what is pain or when is pain actually painful? How am I supposed to react? So as a kid, you, you learn it, right? You fall down, you hit your foot. In the beginning, nothing is wrong. Then you see the blood and then you start crying. Ha! What kind of mental thing is that? So from my perspective, I, if I uh, fall down, hurt something, I didn't want people to, to see it. So I was just packing it up and like, oh, well, if I can walk home, then it's good, you know? Um, or I will ask my mom if something is wrong and she will be like, are your leg fall off? No? Well, then you're fine. And then I was like, okay. So from my perception, physical pain, um, yeah, <laughs> it's not the same perception as many other when they experience physical pain. So what I wanted to start with saying is that we are so different and we have so different perceptions of the world reality we live in. We have so different perceptions of the value and the feeling of pain. Um, but we all experience it. It's like, from my perspective, I can break a foot without it really hurting. Um, where another person can break a nail and they will be crying their eyes out. So. Actually, the experience are not the matter. The matter is that we all experience it. We all experience pain in one form or another. It's a part of this human game. It's a part of this human development. It's only the way we perceive it is different. So what I want to say with it is that we shouldn't judge each other for how or when we feel pain. We shouldn't judge each other for Ah, uh, you're crying way too easy, or um, I, I don't understand why you feel hurt because I can't see it with my physical eyes. And that is the most important thing I wanted to share when I read all your comments, because you are all right. You see it from different perspectives, you see it from different layer of consciousness, and it's all about how you perceive pain, because pain is a part Pain is a part of our development on Earth, and pain is really, really awesome because it it brings us so much. It brings us 
inside of ourselves. It brings our, us to the present moment. It brings us, us to understanding that something within us um, are not being listened to, right? Or we cross some kind of border <laughs> and we need to stop up for a moment and rethink what we were doing. Um, wait a second. A boat is coming. <laughs> it's so cozy living here. <laughs> um, so the way I see um, the way I see pain, if I look inside of myself and I don't think about how I should perceive it in the world reality of which we live or what I have learned, then pain is only a, a physical pain. You fall down, you break something, or you, you are getting kicked. I am getting kicked quite a lot recently. <laughs> so um, physical pain is only the moment you are touched is Poof! Something is not how it normally is, so you have a reaction. The reaction, the physical pain where you actually feel pain um, or feel the disalignment is two to three seconds. After that, there is the fear. The fear, the whole body are reacting of fears like, oh, what if? What is, what is wrong? What happened? Uh, why am I out of balance? So your whole system react out of fear. Then the next thing happens are your, your mental thing, then you, you connect to your brain and your mental thoughts taking over. You look at it, you can either increase the fear <laughs> or make your body's fear less. Um, and especially if it's a, a hurt or a disalignment you're not used to, the fear are bigger because then the situation are unknown. Oh, apparently there comes one more boat. <laughs> um, yeah, so the physical pain from my perspective is actually a blink of an eye and then after that it's my body reacting uh, out of fear and how much fear I put into the situation. Hello! Lately, or, or the half, last half year, this is no secret, I, I have been scared. I've been scared of breaking because I broke so many bones <laughs> and I am really trying my best to keep myself in alignment but somehow um, I keep managed to, I, I kept, don't keep, I kept manifesting this hurt situation of physical pain. And uh, what actually is, is the memory, the memory of the pain. That means the memory of the fear is still within my physical self. So every time I'm close to be disalignment, it's the fear of what once happened that pops up. It's not actually pain. When I, I think something hurts and I really feel after, it doesn't hurt. One more boat. So, um, for me, it, it is really. Oh. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, so for me, it's not the f pain, the feeling of pain, there's heart. I don't mind physical pain, but it is the, the body's memory and fear um, which actually influence. It's the fear of what if. So, if you go down inside of your body, talk with the fear, talk with the memory of fear inside of yourself, so you learn that what once happened is not there anymore and you can let it go. You can actually let this state of pain go and set yourself free, or state of tension, or state of... Because you have your whole nerve system and your nerve system are linked to this memory. 
I don't know what's going on with this boat for <laughs> two seconds. I can't change it anyway. <laughs> I didn't know you had that many boats actually. So serious. So then uh, yesterday somebody was asking uh, about what about mental pain? Mental pain. Uh, what do you do about mental pain? And oh, sorry, that's more boat. <laughs> yeah. So, mental pain. Um, the truth is. How do you feel mental pain? It is also a feeling inside of yourself. It's also not really pain, but it's emotions stuck inside of you. You don't know how to get rid of. Embrace it. It's exactly the same with the pain. If you feel physical pain, if you just allow it instead of being afraid of it, it lasts three seconds. <laughs> yeah, Pete, only in that bus. And um, if you embrace your mental pain, if you allow yourself to just be with it for a second ask it okay why are you here and it will say i am memory from the past i am stuck in your system i feel locked inside of you and uh, there is no way for me to come out no matter what i do i'm still inside i just want to break free right then allow it embrace it take this mental pain and yell it out or laugh it out or hit something or break a plate or just allow yourself to actually release it and then look into exactly when you talk like when you talk with your physical self then talk with this emotion stuck inside of yourself and ask okay why are you here give it a voice allow it allow the voice to speak and ask why are you here what do you have to show me what do you want to learn to learn to learn me um yeah so on a deepest level there is no difference between mental or physical pain it's just a matter of how you perceive the world and how it needs to manifest for you in order of you to listen to watch yourself um and it's about finding the strength within yourself. So if you are scared, let's put it in a form. If you are scared in going out of the world, right? You put a block, it's for yourself. That means you, 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 uh, I'm afraid of stepping over a border because you won't get burned, right? So <laughs> then you are creating all this fear inside of your body, which is actually not real. It's, it's just blockage for you to move forwards. It is fear for you to move forwards. So, um, it is funny. Let me give you an example. So, my one leg was hurting, and it was not really hurting, but there was a lot of tensions. There was a lot of fear the fear of breaking, fear of being out of alignment, fear for me being too much out of my body. It was all stuck within one leg, right? And then, <laughs> typical me, I, I don't like to be controlled by fear. So I go to kickboxing. And then uh, I'm not so good at the defending part. I just am pretty good at the attacking part. And, um, and this person just kicked me like crazy. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take this. And then apparently this person uh, kicked so much at my ankle that it triggered something so I couldn't move. And this was my big fear. My big fear was that I would be not able to move, right? Angle on the other foot. So then I, I stopped uh, the sparring, I went home, I put ice on it, and then my perception of the world tells me, okay, this is just a kick. There's nothing wrong with my angle. It's just like, you know, sometimes you get hurt and that's it. And no matter how much it hurts, Nothing is really truly wrong, so I can easily run tomorrow morning. Next morning I can barely walk down the stairs because 
where the place where the kick was uh, hitting, it pressed the nerve down to uh, the ligaments that goes down to the foot. But if you don't touch that place, then everything is fine. So I went running and everything was good. And then halfway through my run, I was like, oh, wait a minute. So all the things that hurt it yesterday, all the things I was afraid of, all the tensions, I didn't feel it anymore <laughs> because it was only fear. And now by me being kicked so hard <laughs> that I barely can walk, I realize that is only fear. I realize it because because I have a weird way of experiencing this world, <laughs> but also because of I was finding the strength within myself again. I gained trust within my physical self, within my emotional self again. And from that point of view, that healed all the fear of standing within myself, which normally is what is wrong with your feet. Um, so I felt stronger within myself, even that I was more hurt today than yesterday. Um, yeah, so it is about finding your fears, crossing your fears in order of, of understanding on the other side of fear is just yourself, it's just love. What is there truly to be afraid of? I fear heights more than anything. Oh, that's, that's a lie. I did fear height more than anything. And then I just thought, well, then I'm gonna have to jump out of an airplane. You know, it was really awesome. Um, because there's nothing truly to fear. Fear is a creation, but also creation for development. So listen to yourself, listen to your heart. What do you fear? And um, yeah, allow it. And I, I kind of, I kind of like pain. It's it's weird to say, it, but I like pain because when you go through it, wait a minute. Hi. <laughs> no idea what they just said. <laughs> So, I like physical pain or pain or mental pain. I like pain because when, when you go through it, I don't like it exactly when it is there. Pain is pain. It's not that delightful. But on the other side, when you're through it, you came stronger. You found yourself deeper. And you embraced yourself um, and got to know yourself even better. It doesn't matter if it's pain or it's physical or it's because of a breakup or because of family loss. It is because of you becoming stronger within yourself. You finding yourself over and over and over again. Um, so basically that is my perception of fear. Somebody said fear are an illusion. Of course, everything is an illusion. And uh, every emotional state is an illusion. <laughs> but as we are incarnated in this three-dimensional world, um, this illusion is a part of the game, it's a part of the play. So just embrace it and let it help you grow instead of letting it uh, hold you down. I think that was it. I'll see if there's something I should answer. Hi! Hi guys! <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Behind pain is love, isn't it? Yes, it's so true. Um, I think we got it all. I think we got it all. Oh, and Mark, I will so much tell about this religion part. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in a later live video. But uh, it's going to be the next subject. I promise. It keeps popping up every day. Mohammed is my friend. Can we heal a broken heart? Of course we can. Of course we can. So heartbreaks. Let me put it in this form. I fall in love, I guess, every day. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I do. And I fall in love in everything. Like animals and plants and birds or 
people or you know soul connections and then you feel it so deeply within yourself you feel it so deeply within your heart and for whatever reason it might not be alignment and um, and these persons have to move on for whatever reason that it feels like a heartbreak but the truth is that your heart cannot really break it, it is when you feel love the love is always meant to be and it doesn't matter if it's meant to be for 10 seconds five minutes or a whole life the love that you share has value because you shared it together so when whatever ends then give it love accept it and allow it and allow yourself to love yourself enough to let it go allow yourself to embrace the new you look what you look what you found in that time together look what uh, what side of you you allowed yourself to embrace because you were no, now capable of feeling love on such a deep level and from that point of view allow yourself to keep growing and thankfully for the time that you spent together say goodbye to each other and love the other person enough to allow that person to grow as well um, a broken heart can always be healed because basically you have to be fulfilled within yourself and and when you are there you know that you are always connected even that you're not physically connected to whatever person then on the deeper level you will always be and <laughs> on the deeper level that is the only thing that matters you being one within yourself, being able, capable of being one with everybody else. Um, yeah. So of course a broken heart can be healed. You're the one choosing if you want to heal it or not. And of course it needs time. You have these emotions you need to go through and you have these uh, discovering of yourself you need to rediscover. <laughs> so give yourself time give yourself space and allow whatever you need to do within that process that you need to go through um yeah oh and you're so welcome so guys i think i think that is it for today um so the love and connection between two people why are people so afraid of why are people blocking it they are afraid to f <laughs> i love you by the way and people are afraid of getting hurt we have this perception of if i open my heart i become vulnerable if i become vulnerable i can be hurt and if i become hurt that yeah that hurts that give me pain but what we kind of sort of have misunderstood in this whole world perception is that if we don't open up if we don't allow ourselves to be vulnerable we are slightly hurting ourselves constantly so it is really allowing and surrendering surrendering into open your heart fully every time i get my heart broken over and over and over again it's no secret <laughs> um but I open it up and I will open it up because I want to feel and connect with everything in love. I want to connect from heart to heart. If it's not from the heart, for me it has no value. For me it is not a connection that brings the true happiness of which I will seek in life on earth or in heaven anyway. So when we link together in our hearts, it's just a pure connection of love. And it doesn't have to have a form, it doesn't have to um, have a shape. It just is pure, heart from heart. And actually that is the only place where we can never get hurt. But we are not really uh, so consciousness about it yet on this planet. <laughs> is it possible then when you open, oh shit, comes up, then what? And how to deal with it? Yes. So... <laughs> When you connect with each other in the heart, then I see you clearly for who you are and you see me clearly for who I am. Our connection is heart to heart and I love you completely, but just because I love your soul. 
and this is the connection you want to feel. You want to feel it in your heart. You want to feel that that is the one who's meant to conquer anything, whatever pops up. So whatever pops up from you a uh, past, you are now aware that this is not connected to this person. Maybe this person is triggering it, but it's connected to your past. So you are now capable of taking full responsibility for what comes up and why. And allow the emotions. So if the situation is that... Um, let's take an example. Um, okay, an old example. Once I had a boyfriend. He was really sweet. Every time he came home, I was really, really afraid that he wanted to do something badly because I had bad uh, experience in a past relationship, right? So every time he opened the door, I would freak out. I would almost have a panic attack thinking, oh, he's gonna yell at me. And he was just like, hi, honey. <laughs> so I was aware that everything within me that was triggered had absolutely nothing to do with him. So I told him that. I told him that, but I still allowed my feelings to come up. And um, so when we find somebody, like uh, for example somebody where old shit still comes up, it is because at one form or another we chose to go through this together and um, work through it together but work with our own part of it. So it's always important to talk with your partner about these things which popping up and also being truly honest to yourself if it's because of this person or because of the past. Um, life is a process and if you have things in your your backpack <laughs> you're not finished when, when you entered a new relationship, you definitely need to take responsibility for that part uh, of yourself. I do believe that if you are truly meant to be together heart to heart everything that what once were doesn't matter anymore so whatever old shit pops up you can you can completely let it burn and come back to this pure heart connection if you truly surrender into it it's all about surrendering and let go let go of all fear let go of all patterns let go of all control when you feel it come up surrender Look each other in the eyes, look each other in the eyes and feel the heart connection and like, wow, okay, this is it. I trust you, I trust me, everything else, it doesn't matter, we're gonna do this together. <laughs> so Mark, I, I'm, I'm really uh, wondering all the toilets, you mean shit and monkey and shit, okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, Carlos, you're so right. I really, I really need to come and visit you guys. I've been thinking about you for the last two hours. <laughs> Sun is shining. So, um, yeah. Oh, floss the shit. Yes, just let it out. All of it. <laughs> and um, especially in this time we now are going through, um are going into where everything starts getting more chill, chilly and the coziness is meant to pop up. Um, we automatically become either more closed or more emotionally and the closed part is actually just a shield for the emotion which pops up because of this kind of cold and search for coziness. So in this time just allow yourself to embrace everything that you are and Allow yourself to have all these sides of yourself and just love it, you know? You are not wrong <laughs> in any form and you are so allowed to feel whatever you feel. Yeah.